Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm back with another LEGO gift with purchase review. This is set number 40596 Magic Maze. It has 332 pieces and it's currently free with purchases over 150 US dollars on shop.lego.com and I believe in LEGO stores as well. And the reason I'm reviewing this is because I think that this is one of the most creative and coolest and just most unique and well-designed Lego gift with purchases that we've seen in a really long time. It's also at a really good purchase threshold because this is a gigantic set to get for free with $150 purchases. And if you haven't picked one up yet, you can still get it through October 9th. Before we get into the review though, I do want to remind you guys that I am a LEGO employee. However, all opinions expressed in these videos are my own and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the LEGO group. And LEGO is a registered trademark of the LEGO group of companies, which does not sponsor, authorize, or endorse this site. So if you don't understand what this set is, it's basically just a little handheld maze game where you're trying to run this ball through a bunch of obstacles and get it to the end. And this is actually the end. I've only done one test run of this because I wanted to have a pretty fresh playing experience when I tried it on camera with you guys. So this is actually where you're supposed to start the ball. And just going over the design first, I really love it. Like you have this big question mark, which I think is perfect because, you know, it's kind of like, hey, where's the ball going? Because it goes into this hidden maze. And then when it comes out of the hidden maze, it goes through this kind of like deserty area almost. And then you bring it back around here. And this is actually one of the hardest parts of the maze, I think, because it needs to jump through all of these little boxes. And then you go through this little bee themed area with a beehive and then into like an industrial park and then across like a thin rail. And then you go through this turnstile over this bridge. You need to go along another thin rail and you can fall off quite easily here through a few obstacles, through like a nature area with a ladybug, some trees. And I don't even know what that is supposed to be. Um, but basically you get through all of that and then you end up at the whale because as you can see, it's got an eye. So that's supposed to be a little whale. So it's a really interesting course and it's a lot of fun to play. And I just think that this is a really unique design because the only other Lego like labyrinth maze we've seen is that ideas maze set from like 2015 or 2016. And that was a long time ago. You can pick up the maze by holding these handles in trans clear. And I think that these are Technic headlight pieces from one of the large cars. I think that these pieces are really, really cool. Like the molds are awesome and they work perfectly as handholds. You know, they're definitely a good size for kids, but even with my adult hands, I can still hold it and really tilt the maze around and play with it. So I'm glad that it was designed for people of all ages. And with that being said, let's go ahead and check out how it plays because of course that's the main purpose of this set. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to show everything on camera. But basically, we're just going to start by moving this little ball into the maze. And then I need to try to get it through. And that is difficult because you can't see what you're doing. And then you have to be really gentle here because the first time I did this, it just completely flew out of these little bumps. I really like that area as well with like the little um, angled plates. And then, like I said, the, the boxes over here are kind of the hardest part. So I try to just like jump it a little bit but like there's a lot of lips on those boxes so it's kind of difficult to get it to go through them. Ooh, I'm actually doing a pretty good job. Let's not jinx myself but okay through the bees we go and then over this little this little ramp. Come on. There we go. Across the rail through the turnstile. Okay this is the hardest part. Oh, darn it. I was so close to the end. That was about to be a perfect run. I'm really, really upset that I messed it up. Okay, but let's go through these little orb pieces. It is, it does get kind of stuck between like these two. Um, and then this little nature section is pretty easy. It's just getting past the ladybug that's a little bit difficult. And then there we go. We've ended up at the whale. So I feel like I made that look easy, not to brag or anything, but I had a lot more trouble with it the first time. And I can really see a kid having hours of fun playing with this because I do think that several of these things are difficult to master for kids. Uh, and then the last like feature I want to call out is that you do get a separate ball. So I guess 
Maybe you could try to have two of these things running at the same time, but I really like the way it's held in place with just a couple of rubber Technic pieces because that stops it from rolling around and it really holds it securely. So overall, I think that, you know, the design of this thing is pretty good because the, the areas are challenging, but they're not too challenging. I'd say my only complaint with the overall design is that I wish that some of these walls were a little bit higher because like I said, the first time I came out of the magic maze, the, the run I did off camera, uh, the ball just like went zooming out and like just fell straight off. And I don't really like the differing heights like over here. However, it does make the maze more challenging and a more challenging maze provides, you know, more playability. So I do see why it was done that way. And I can't really fault the designer for not building up higher walls because clearly uh, you can complete the maze even with the short walls. It's not like it really hinders your ability to get through the course. There are a lot of great extra parts here for such a small set with the extra bugs with the ladybug and the bee. You have a friction Technic half pin, and then you have a really, really interesting part that I actually haven't seen in person before now. This is a Technic half pin with an anti-stud on it. So it's kind of the opposite of this red part. And this allows you to plug this pin into Technic pieces and then easily connect them to system pieces. And this is just like a revolutionary piece in my opinion. Like this is so cool. I don't know how new it is because I know I've seen pictures of it before, but this was my first time having it in person. And I just, I think that this is an incredible piece and it really excites me even though I'm not a big mock builder. The box for this set is a very pretty pale and dark pink color. I think it presents very well. We have a little image of the set on the side flaps. And then at the back, it kind of shows you some of the obstacles that you're gonna face on this course. The instruction manual is a pretty basic affair with no ads or anything at the back. It's just the set. So as you guys can tell, I really like this set. I think it's one of the best gift with purchases that LEGO has released in recent years between the very reasonable spend threshold required to get it from the fun of the design. It's just, it's a really unique play offering from LEGO. There's nothing wrong with regular gift with purchase sets. I love regular gift with purchase sets, just having like something small to display, but having something like this, that's a unique fun thing to play with. I almost wish this was just a regular $30 Lego set because I do think that this is the kind of stuff I want to see more of. So if you're holding out on any of the large sets that have released recently, like the Viking Village or the Concord, I really feel like this offers you a lot of value and a lot of incentive to pull the trigger on those sets right now. So let me know what you guys think about this set in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.